man, okay, we, we look, you want to talk about, we can talk about it. Listen, I, I don't think Harbaugh is a bad coach. I just think he should be done in Baltimore. Like that happens sometimes. Sometimes uh, your time is up with the organization, right? Mm-hmm. Like you can't do any more for that team. And sometimes, sometimes a coach just needs to be fired to wake up. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I've been saying that. I, I think Harbaugh and I think EDC have gotten lazy because of, of Lamar Jackson. Right. I think you got a guy with with re- true generational talent, true generational talent. He makes winning easy. He makes it look easy. And they've gotten lazy because of it. Like they're not doing the things that they, they're supposed to do. They don't coach. They, they don't call the game the way they're supposed to call it. Um, and he's too stubborn to realize that and try to make changes. So sometimes you just got to get fired to realize, Hey man, this, you know, I got to look at myself. This is on me here. Are the changes I need to make moving forward. And I think he'll be fine, but I just, I just don't want him doing this nonsense that he's doing to the team anymore. Well, yeah, it's, it's exactly like you said. Sometimes the time, your time is just up in a certain place. Uh, that was kind of true with Andy, Andy Reed in Philly. Uh, he went to Kansas city and, and he's doing fine there, obviously. And Philly was doing very well without him as well. It, it worked out for both parties. Um, it was the same thing in Carolina. You know, Ron Rivera's time was up in Carolina. You know, it was time for him to go and he did. And, and, you know, I mean, he's not having the, the, the most success in Washington, but you know, they, they won the division. They made the playoffs. He's doing well enough over there. Carolina's uh, gone off the rails, but that's neither here nor there. That's not because of Ron Rivera being gone, but it, you know, the team is just, you know, you get that feeling that the team is starting to tune the coach out. And yeah. in Baltimore, it's not even necessarily that they're trying to, that they're starting to tune him out. It's just that like, he's so stubborn and stuck in the past that no. it's just not working. No. It's just not working. But no, B, that's exactly what it is. You've heard from too many players that they have a problem with the system being run there. That's exactly yeah, what's going but on. They, they have they have a right. problem with Greg Roman specifically. I don't know that that means that they're they're tuning Harbaugh out. I think I think most I, of the players like Harbaugh. I think but, it trickles up though, right? Because yeah. they know, like, like these aren't, like I said, these aren't college kids. Like they know what they know the business. They know what it is. Hey, man, like we don't like what's being called here, and and even in fact, it it, it does go back to Harbaugh because uh, Hollywood alluded to that, you know, saying, hey, you know, he wanted to speak up for other players, but then you know he's starting to get a get a label there, right? Get a reputation of of being you know not cooperative, right? That comes from Harbaugh, and. You know, after a while, like that does reflect on the head coach because they see he's not doing anything. They're sticking up for his guy. You're running the same plays. And when he goes and tries to give that rah-rah speech, everybody's like, man, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, no, you know? there, there is something to that for sure. But I think that if they fired Greg Roman, a lot of that goes away. Right. I think a lot of the players still like John. You know, he is a player's coach. Yeah. Uh, but specifically what you're talking about with uh, you know players getting labeled and, and things like that. That is a serious problem in Baltimore. It has been for a long time with John Harbaugh. And we saw it again this past week or earlier this week when Mike Davis was signed and a lot of fans kind of defended that move saying, Oh, well they need bodies for camp because you know, all three and by the way, it is three. It's not two. So disrespectful. You ought to just keep on, you know, forgetting about Justice Hill. Disrespectful. All three running backs uh, were hurt. And, you know, maybe they're not going to be ready for camp. Maybe they're not going to be ready for preseason, things like that. Uh, so a lot of fans are saying, oh, they needed to sign Mike Davis as a camp body. But then they immediately turned around and showed you that wasn't true by cutting one of their running backs. They right. already had four healthy young running backs. He just didn't like Tyson Williams. For whatever reason, yeah, uh, he got he you know people talk about uh, you know the wide receivers needing a chance. Tyson Williams got to play less than all of the young wide receivers. We don't hear anybody saying, "Hey, man, give Tyson Williams a chance." He is he's just gone. He got thrown into the doghouse. He never got out, and now they're now he's out on the street. And you know maybe it's something that happened internally that that you know fans are not privy to, but it just seems really really unprofessional uh for for a coach at that level to just say you know to point at one guy and say you know what? i don't like you uh they did it to zadarius smith at one point as well yes yes and, and and it's crazy to me that they they keep allowing this coach to just sit guys down like it it's not as bad as this but it reminds me of uh the raiders with uh, marcus allen 
where they they sat him for years in his prime just yeah. because. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's I mean, but again, like stubbornness on his part and laziness, right? Because if a player doesn't do exactly what you want him to do, instead of being a coach and coaching them up and saying, here's how you correct that mistake, it's sit down, right? You're in the doghouse because you can't do it the way I want you to do it. I'm going to go and find somebody that knows how to do it, right? And if they find the people that, that know how to do it, then you're giving a coach all this credit that he doesn't deserve. Harbaugh don't deserve any credit for, for, the, for developing these players. Like most of these players, like the, the players that you really like, like he didn't develop those guys. Like they they did it on their own. Like you mm-hmm. think you think he developed Lamar Jackson, or do you think mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson just went out and 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 got the help in the offseason and put in the work on the offseason? Like how about he he don't, he don't develop anybody? You know, right. either do they either put in the work themselves or they ca- they came from somewhere else where they were coached up. But that's but that's another knock, right? He wants guys that already know how to do it, and he doesn't know how to. How to how to find players and develop them. That's why I don't have a, a lot of faith in these, these younger wide receivers that we have on the team. Everybody's like, oh, you know, let them cook, let them play, let them cook. Like, what do you think this team's gonna do with them? No, right. get guys that already have talent, that already know what they're doing. Those yeah. guys can help. You got Ravens online on gatekeeper says we have had the same issues for the last 10 years, but who does that fall upon? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Danny says, very unprofessional. That's why I question Bashadi as the owner. It shouldn't fly under you. Yeah, and Bashadi, and Bashadi knows, right? Like Bashadi, that, that's why he thought about firing Harbaugh before. He said it. He said it. <laughs> he said it yeah. to the media. I considered it, so he knows. You know, um, I think he's just trying to be a loyal person. I think they they try to mimic the Steelers in that way where they don't fire their coaches. It's kind of like a lifetime uh, position, you know, until you know they decide to retire, but. You know, you got to win, too. That's the thing. We haven't been winning like the Steelers. Like Daniel says, we have a sink or swim mentality. If you can't swim, no one is going to show you. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and, <clears throat> when, and when you're relying on draft picks, can't be that way. Right? Well, they, they have that mentality for, for some people, not for everyone. Yeah. Shout out to Deshaun, man. He says that's what happens when you jump from special teams coach to head coach. He <laughs> neglects to he neglects actual talent in order to find guys who are happy to play play punt team. Yeah, well, well, there's some there's some uh, truth to that. Yes, mutual parting of ways. That's how it's going to end, I think, Davon. If yeah. they don't, if they disappoint this year, right? Not necessarily lose, right? They can they can go far in the playoffs, you know, fall short, and he can still keep his job, depending on how that looks. But if they disappoint. Um, he won't be fired. It will be a mutual parting of ways. Uh, Magic Bull says, Greg Roman was a high school assistant before Harv's called him and gave him a ticket back to the league. Yeah. Yo, look, Greg Roman should not be an offensive coordinator. All right. Like Vach said um, about, uh, uh, who was it? Who was, the, who was the coordinator over there in Dallas? Uh, Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore. He said this about Kellen Moore. He said, look, you know he's a cool coach. He can he can he can call a play. He can he can he can call offensive plays, but he can't coordinate. All right, that's what I think about Greg Roman, but less because I don't even think he calls plays that well. Either. <clears throat> I was just saying yes before Harps was a dictator. Jackson comes along and uh, it's a more participative approach. I'm not sure oh, that's true uh, with all the players being upset with the way the offense is being run and them not doing anything about it. I think no, I I think there's some truth to what Couch is saying. I, I think he 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 did lighten up a little bit. Um, a little bit, right? Especially in that that 2019 season. But I think that had more to do with, man. You say my job, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was more. Uh, I'm a little relieved now. I'm 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 gonna calm down. <laughs> I'm not so uh uptight. But yeah, I think there's some truth to it. He, I think he did soften his approach a little bit. But he's still the same hardball when it comes down to it. Um, you know, kind of like a uh, uh Coughlin, right? Tom Coughlin, yeah. same thing. You know, he, he had a, he had to change his approach uh, before the team had a mutiny uh, on him, and they won a Super Bowl. He's like, Tom Coughlin back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, give me a laugh. <laughs>